Okay, so this is our in vehicle commerce. Imagine now that um, you can use your car if it has a digital da dashboard, like a lot of the new cars are coming out with. That let me start with it. That you can use your dashboard as a payment or your car as a payment instead of using your phone or your credit card. So I have tickets to a an event at a stadium. Instead of going to a kiosk or using my phone for payment at a thing, I can use my car. If it has um, hold on one more. <laughs> okay. So I I go to the the, the end of the to, to exit the parking, I want to use my MasterCard. I hit pay, I confirm my payment, and now my car is talking to the payment kiosk um, at the exit. And you'll see here in a moment that, yes, um, I've been charged my four hours, and now I can drive off. I don't need to uh, work with an attendant or anything like that. So that's the IoT payments for, for um, car commerce. This is a package and parcel dimensioning, so if you go to to ship packages, your work for FedEx or UPS or, or store like that. I am now able to, so instead of having to do physical measurements, I use my device to do the um, dimensioning. I point, hold on, I point it to the box and it gives me the dimensions. That's that one. That is package and parcel dimension. Okay. This is utilizing robotics and automation for retail in a lot of different ways. This particular demo is showing um, the robotics scanning shelves for inventory in the wrong place or if inventory is out and they need to notify somebody to restock or reorder. This um, one is based on the RB5 uh, reference design. We partner with TDK as well as Modal AI for this reference design so that customers can come and build off of this, this platform. So that's that particular one. This is also for um, in our robotics and automation, utilizing drones in the retail space for delivery or you know moving product around. This is also a reference design that we've worked with TDK on with the sensors and then modal AI for the hardware powered by our Qualcomm um, RB5 platform. But you can imagine they use this reference design to build larger drones for package drop-off. Now this is a demo that we partnered with um, our partner Al here. And basically it allows you to identify um, uh, crowd sourcing and like if you're, you have this on a retail shelf, what are people stopping at? How long do they stop and, and look at stuff? So if you're a brand and you want to be able to see is your packaging or your product um, eye-catching and shopping and you just put your product here then it will show up on your smart cart and it will tell you the unit price and it'll have a, a running total then when you're done shopping when you just bag it up and you go you pay through the system you don't need to go through checkout okay Yeah, this is a uh, yeah, voice ordering system for QSR, and obviously it's um, uh, doing a lot of audio processing, etc. in the background. But uh, let me find somebody who can talk. I can do it. Yeah. Okay. So yes, this is using the voice ordering solution for restaurants, right? It uses our voice services, and instead of um, 
a lot of kiosks when you order, right, you have to touch things and then you're not sure what to do. Here it's kind of like talking to somebody at the kiosk. So I'm gonna point here. I would like a bacon burger, please. Yes. So then it adds my bacon burger. Um, I would like a cola, please. No cola. Okay, let's try again. May I have a cola, please? My cola. Oh, so one more. We'll do one more. I would like a classic cheeseburger. Anyway, it allows you to have that that voice recognition instead. And it uses noise cancellation so it doesn't hear the, the background noise. Okay?